Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. So let's start story time today with a silly, silly song all about an elephant who likes to sit on everybody. It's called Willoughby Wallaby. Let's see who they sit on first. Willoughby your name. Well, we can take your name and just put the w w w sound in front of it. So like for Catherine, we put Wathrin and we just say Willoughby Wallaby Wathrin. The elephant sat on Catherine. And you can do that with your own name and sing that song anytime you like. Well, since we're speaking about names, our first story today is all about a little girl and where she got her name. It's called Alma and How She Got Her Name by Juana Martinez Neal. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela had a long name. Too long if you asked her. My name is so long, Daddy, it never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, daddy. I am Jose. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, 
Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Candela. I love the story of my knee. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I pick the name Alma just for you. You're the first and the only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's my name, and it fits me just right. I am Alma, and I have a story to tell. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Do you know the story of how you got your name? Well, if you don't know, you can always ask. Ask one of your parents or a grandparent. So we have a dog with a special name today, and why don't we do a song all about bingo? You might know this song already, so why don't you sing along with me? Here we go. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, B I. N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name. Oh, now let's take away the letter B and let's clap instead of the B. Okay, here we go. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, I N G O I N G O I N G O and Bingo was his name. Oh. Now, what letter are we taking away now? The I. So let's clap for that one. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, N G O, N G O, N G O, and bingo was his name. Oh, okay, let's take away the letter N. N, N, that's the letter N. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, G O, G O, G O, and bingo was his name. Oh, okay, we're taking away one more letter. This one is G, and the sound goes G, G, G. Here we go. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh. Oh, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, okay, here goes the last letter, and that is the letter O. Okay, here we go, we can do this. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, and bingo was his name. Oh. Very good, friends. That was a fun song. Well, we have one more story today, and this one's about a little boy and how he helped come up with his own name. It's called Thunder Boy Jr. by Sherman Alexi, illustrated by Yuyi Morales. Hello, my name is Thunder Boy. Thunder Boy Smith. That's my real name. My dad gave it to me at birth. My mom wanted to name me Sam. Sam is a good name. Sam is a normal name. Thunderboy is not a normal name. There's nobody on earth with the same name as me. I am the only Thunderboy who has ever lived. Or so you would think. But I am named after my dad. But he is Thunderboy Smith Sr. And I am Thunderboy Smith Jr. People call him Big Thunder. That nickname is a storm filling up the sky. People call me Little Thunder. That nickname makes me sound like a burp or fart. My mother's name is Agnes. My sister's name is Lillian. Those are fancy names, but they are normal names. Thunderboy Jr. is not even close to normal. Can I tell you a secret? Come over here. 
and I'll whisper it in your ear. I hate my name. Don't get me wrong. My dad is awesome, but I don't want to have the same name as him. I want my own name. I want a name that sounds like me. I want a name that celebrates something cool that I've done. I once touched a wild orca on the nose, so maybe my name should be Not Afraid of 10,000 Teeth. I once climbed a mountain, so maybe my name should be Touch the Clouds. I love playing in dirt, so maybe my name should be Mud in His Ears. I learned to ride a bike when I was three, so maybe my name should be Gravity's Best Friend. I once dreamed the sun and moon were my mom and dad, so maybe my name should be Starboy. I like to go to garage sales with my mom, so maybe my name should be Old Toys Are Awesome. My dog likes to chase his tail. He likes to chase my tail, so maybe my name should be Can't Run Fast While Laughing. <laughs> I love powwow dancing. I'm a grass dancer, so maybe my name should be Drums, drums, and more drums. I dream of traveling the world, so maybe my name should be Full of Wonder. I do not want the name they gave me when I was born. I do not want to be Little Thunder. I don't want to be small. I love my dad, but I don't want to be exactly like him. I love my dad, but... I want to be mostly myself. I love my dad, but I want my own name. What do I do? What do I say? Son, I think it's time I gave you a new name. A name of your own. My dad read my mind. My dad read my heart. Son, my name will still be Thunder, but your new name will be Lightning. Together, my dad and I will become amazing weather. Our love will be loud and it will be bright. My dad and I will light up the sky. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. So we've come to the end of story time. So let's sing our farewell song. We wave goodbye. Thank you for coming, friends, and I'll see you next time.